So we had plans to go to a campground, like an actual established campground. And I guess it's still closed for the season, which is kind of bizarre because it's 90 degrees and there's no snow in sight. Fortunately, we are in a national forest that has plenty of dispersed camping opportunities as well. So that's what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna do some dispersed camping. This entire hillside got completely cleared. It's crazy. Here's the forest, what it should look like. That's after getting cleared. Natural air conditioner. <laughs> Seriously. Me, madame. Oh, wow. oh, it's, oh, it's, it's locked. locked. I actually can't let you out. There we go. I'll let myself out. Thank you very much. Everyone, look! Look who I found! I don't think anyone knows me at this point. Yeah, seriously. So, honestly, if you guys don't know Tessa, this is this is my lovely girlfriend. She hasn't been in any of my videos for a, a long time. And I think it's I don't think it's a coincidence that she showed up. Right when I got a nice large camper with the bathroom, is there? <laughs> uh, is that no a coincidence? Problem. What? <laughs> How's it going, Tess? Say hi to everyone. Everyone Hello. has missed you. A lot of people comment asking where you've been all the time. Oh, so, okay. Glad to have you back. Glad to be back. Even though I see you like every, every, day. every day. Every day. We only live together, you know. This is the ultimate test if you'll be able to take the rig by yourself sometime. Can you undo the steps? You gotta really yank and just be careful not to pinch oh, your fingers pinch. because it can pinch your fingers if you're not careful. Yeah. That wasn't too bad. Putting it away is harder for sure. Putting it away is harder. Ah, nothing is broken on the ground. That's oh. good. Guys, I just want to point out that it's about probably 90 degrees right now, and Tessa's it's not 90, putting it's on a down. jacket. It's a windbreaker, and it matches. <laughs> okay, so I think that you just there's like a handle. On, oh, you see the side right there? I think you just like pump that down. So try a test run real quick. Wow. Is there water coming out? Yeah. Nice. That's this luxury. Is luxury. Dang. All right, BRB. All right, enjoy. Thanks. Amazing. How'd it go? Great. It's pretty cool. You don't have to worry about going outside. Yeah. I don't like that. This is the first official event. Adventure. This is the first official adventure in the new rig. I did spend one night in it on the way back after getting it, but that wasn't an actual adventure. Here we are out in the Gifford Pinchot National Forest in Washington. Like I mentioned, we were actually trying to go to a specific campground, but we got there and it was closed. I don't know if it's closed for the season or if it's there's some other reason, but regardless, fortunately, there's lots of dispersed camping up here. So we found a really cool spot. I mean, look how spacious it is. We even got this nice fire ring here. So, you know, we're going to be having a fire tonight and yeah, we're just really, this is just a test run of the rig. Nothing crazy, nothing extravagant. We were originally going to do a two night trip, but due to time and poor planning, here we are pretty late in the evening, just doing a one nighter. So it is nice to have Tessa out with us doing some camping for a change. And something tells me now that we have this big camper, Tessa might be willing to do more camping with us. There's so much like more space in here for two people than there was in the other campers. Oh yeah. The other campers we kind of had to like just cram in and be shuffled around. But I just want to point out 
that the fridge is super spacious and large and I've been running it on propane as we've been driving, which I felt a little bit apprehensive to do. I don't know why, I just, there's something about driving while the pro propane tanks are on, which I know that it's actually kind of like a debate. Some people are against doing it and then other people will say it's totally fine, but at least we have cold groceries. You gonna go up there? All right, be careful. Yeah, you have health insurance, you're fine. <laughs> oh yeah, that is a satellite. Huh? Cool. Should we have a picnic up here? We could. We have so many camping chairs at home and I had to stop by at Walmart on the way up here because of course I forgot to pack my own camping chair. I just usually always have one in the truck and this time around I didn't, so. Another Walmart camping chair is added to the collection. If you guys need camping chairs for Jeep, yes. this thing's like 10 bucks, huh? It puts coffee. <laughs> Sorry. Whoa, that's nice. Ooh, that's nice, look at that. My, that one puts mine to shame. Yeah, I mean, this was $10 and Tessa got this a while ago for like, seven dollars yeah back which is in like, crazy that you could get a chair for seven dollars that's cheaper than a hamburger 28 mcdonald's oh this is nice 10 Should bucks well spent that when we get home <laughs> this is papa bear's chair <laughs> welcome back thank you we we have missed you oh thanks <laughs> How's work been? Work's been busy, but good. Nice. That's why I think my face has not been around as much. Um, oh look guys, I didn't even, we didn't even mention, she got a haircut. Oh, it's like that a whole, was forever ago. Yeah, but you haven't been in any videos since getting a haircut. You're oh. like a whole new person now. Am I? Guys, I am so excited to have a camper that has amenities that actually work. Like I've had a couple different camper setups and I've never had any of these super basic amenities because it was always one thing or another. One thing was always broken. This wasn't working for that. This wires disconnect. Like it was always, I never had a fully operational camper. So to have all of this stuff, even though it's pretty basic, it's freaking awesome. And <laughs> I'm really stoked for it. What was that? Snow. Oh. This is the last remnant of winter. Blown patch. Ooh, it's a little chilly on my, my feet. Bye, Felicia. Oh. <laughs> I started filming at the perfect <laughs> time. It's stuck in my feet. <laughs> no, no. Uh, it's so cold. <laughs> I literally started filming at the perfect moment for that. <laughs> that sucks because even like the little bits of snow that were on the sides of my feet didn't feel that great right now. <laughs> Go quick, hop in the hot shower. You good? You don't want to hop in the hot shower real quick? I might as well. To warm them up? No. Is the water pump on too? Yeah. Is it warm? No, not yet. Uh -huh. So if you guys notice, the lights in here, they do work. All of them work, but they're this, they're this like really ugly LED that just feels like you're in a hospital or something. So for now, before, until I could switch the light bulbs out, I'm gonna be using the good old Jackery light system that I have rigged up. If you guys haven't seen this setup, it's actually super simple. There's just a little 
on and off switch that plugs right into your 110 volt outlet. And then you get one of these single light bulb screw on adapters that plug into the on off switch. You have a really nifty, powerful light. So today in the kitchen, what are we gonna be making? We are gonna be making veggie lasagna. Wait, wait, lasagna? Lasagna. Yeah, we're making veggie lasagna baked in the oven, which is really exciting because I've never had an oven in a camper. So I think that this is gonna be sweet and delicious. It's the little thing that starts, sparks. There you go, see? Turn it up, so. Why does it sound like that? It just needs a second to solidify itself, to solidify its existence. Oh. Right, is it still doing it? Probably just how it sounds, hopefully. Okay. I don't know, I've never, never had an oven in a camper before, so I guess we'll find out. As someone who likes to cook, the oven is seriously gonna be very nice to have in here because it just opens up a whole other world of different types of recipes that we can cook in here. I could bake, I can make cakes in here, I can make apple turnovers, you know? I can make, I don't know, what other baked stuff, what other baked stuff is there? Cookies, savory food that's baked. We could do a lot with the oven basically, so that's really exciting. Oh, it's just onions. <laughs> so we got onion, zucchini, red bell pepper, and uh, carrots, all going into the lasagna. Thanks for chopping it. No problem. Ah, all right. No problems there. This is a really nice stove. Like, look mm -hmm. how nice this is compared to the other old stoves I've had. A lot of veggies for a small cast iron. Meanwhile, prepare the tomato sauce. Prepared. All right. Got some cottage cheese. I don't remember the last time that I ever bought cottage cheese. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think I've ever bought cottage <laughs> cheese. You know what? I'm curious. For old times' sake, and see how this tastes by itself. It's okay. You know what? I think with some fruit, some like peaches or whatever, some strawberries. We have strawberries. That would be a good snack, actually. I think it's kind of grown on me over the years. I wouldn't just eat it by itself. That's kind of nasty. I did take another bite. <laughs> Our homemade tomato sauce first. <laughs> Oven ready lasagna. Remember we couldn't find jumbo shell jumbo? Ah, that's right, that's right. Look at that lasagna. That is a stacked lasagna. Forgot to mention, we, uh, we overlooked the fact that we would be needing aluminum foil, so no foil. Hopefully, fingers crossed that it cooks okay. Oh, the tiny, tiny. Don't burn yourself. It's so tiny. Okay. Oh, it's in the camper. Oh, look at that. We rocking and rolling.
Oh my, that looks so good. I mean, the top is a little crispy since we didn't have the foil, but eh, it's all right. It just adds some interesting textures, right? Here it is, ladies and gents. Cheers. First meal. First meal. In the new camper, and it looks like a really good meal. It's very fitting to cook something in the oven since that's one of the new features that I've never had. Cheers. Mmm. Tastes very fresh. All of the veggies, it's like not overly cheesy either because we didn't have enough cheese to use the right amount. But I think that worked out. This is like a good yeah. amount of cheese. Yeah. All right. I would say first, first meal in the oven was a success. Minus the foil paper, foil paper, aluminum foil. <laughs> aluminum foil mishap, but that's okay. It did pretty good. <sighs> when I'm camping, I'm a bottomless beer pit. I can literally drink probably 20 beers and be totally like normal still. I don't know. Beer is just a casual camp drink. I'm not invited in. <laughs> Close it right on me. It's kind of cool having an actual like bathroom to clean up and brush your teeth and get ready for bed. Oh yeah. comfortable good first night good first test run oh my goodness <laughs> <sighs> it's time to rise and shine Rise and shine. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> okay, bye. Bye. It's so nice outside right now. Here in Portland, in Oregon, we're in a bit of a heat wave. It's been like 90 degrees every day. Really hot, but right now it's like perfect. Okay. I'm dying for some coffee. Working for it. He's working for it. Ow! <laughs> it's the best. Ready to go? Woo! <laughs> yeah. That was okay. That was alright. Mm. It's not Luke. It's not hot. It's not cold. It's lukewarm. <laughs> it's just but lukewarm. It's, it's just room tastes temperature. Fantastic. It tastes so good. It tastes chocolatey. That's really good. I'm not gonna lie. That's a little sweet, but it's good. All right, you got the steps out. Could you put them away? That's the real tough part. 
Hey, look at that. Keep going, keep going. Oh, no, I'm pushing up against you. Oh, that's fine. It's already a little scraped. Nice. It's hard, huh? Yeah. It's got a lot of resistance. tell that that at one point looked to be another trailer of some sort. All bad. Wow. Wow. It's gone. And that was Mount Rainier, ladies and gentlemen. One of the prettiest mountains up here in the Pacific Northwest, or volcanoes I should say. Last year, I actually circumnavigated that entire mountain on the Wonderland Trail, 100 miles. It was probably the best trail I've ever been on. <laughs> what if I just drop my camera right now? Whoa! Anyone want to joke about that with my luck? I probably would. Yeah. Well, folks, that's going to do it for this one. I know we didn't necessarily do anything too crazy or exciting, but it was a pretty last minute trip, but it was just great to get out here and test out the camper. It was great to have Tessa back. Guys, leave some comments. Encourage her to join for more adventures. Something tells me now that we have this, oh, it's not going to be that hard to convince her. No, no. You might see me around a little bit more. It was fun, right? Did you yeah. have a good time? No, it was a great time. Yeah. It was a simple trip, but a good trip. Yeah. And now we got to get out of here because it is getting so hot sitting here cooking in the truck. So. And we have to go home to our kitty cat. So. Yeah. Our kitty cat is alone right now and she needs food. So thank you guys like always for watching. You guys go out there, go on some adventures of your own. Live life. Beat the status quo. Y'all know the drill. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of your day, and I will see you, maybe we'll see you, in the next one. Peace. Peace out, Girl Scout. Later.